January 21st, 1954, the USS Nautilus is launched. It's a key moment in the Cold War. Nautilus is the world's first nuclear-powered submarine. Patrolling the world's oceans at 23 knots, she is fast. And unlike diesel submarines, Nautilus can stay submerged for weeks at a time. For the next five years, the United States dominates the seas. Finally, the Soviets respond. Their nuclear sub is called K-19, but it earns the nickname the Widowmaker. Several people have died in its construction. We now know the construction had been too hasty. Too many things have been rushed in the attempt to catch up with the Americans and the technology that they were using to get this submarine out to sea. In July 1961, K-19 was off the coast of Greenland on an exercise designed to show that Soviet nuclear technology now matched the Americans. It was a false claim with dire consequences. A pipe ruptured in K-19's nuclear reactor. The reactor overheats and the cooling system fails. There is no backup. K-19's captain, Nikolai Zetayev, was faced with the terrifying prospect of a nuclear explosion. But he and his crew kept their heads. A group of courageous engineers entered the compartment just above the reactor to try and repair the damage. They're only wearing raincoats and gas masks. They have no other defense against the radiation. And they construct this alternative cooling system. Amazingly, their hastily made device works. And the temperature slowly comes down. With the threat of a nuclear explosion now over, K-19 limped home. Captain Nikolai Zetayev was proclaimed a hero, but at a cost. Seven of the engineering team died of radiation exposure within two months. 15 more crew members died within two years. <laughs>